okay? Yeah. I'm good. Do I look sick? Well, no. But you are sitting there eating grapes. For weeks we've been hearing you that you hate grapes. What is going on, Oliver? Well, I finally told my mom that I didn't really like grapes. But I was really thankful that she always thought of me and packed them. Exactly. That's why we're wondering if you're okay. You do know that you're eating grapes right now. Of course I do. Anyway, when I told my mom that I didn't like grapes, she asked me to do her a favor and try them in a few different ways. She bought red ones, green ones, and even purple ones. But these ones you're eating, they're just like the ones from before. That's where you're wrong, Emma. My mom froze these and sent them to school with me on ice. Guys, have you ever tried to eat a frozen grape? They taste completely different. Well, I guess that doesn't surprise me. I read an article once about certain foods tasting better frozen. I think bananas was one of them. Ice cream, too. Wait, Cody, are you saying ice cream tastes better frozen, but you can eat it melted? I'm saying I'll eat ice cream any way you give it to me. Once it melts, I'll even drink it with a straw. I don't know about all that, but I do know that I'm thankful that my mom had me try frozen grapes, because they are amazing. But don't worry, Emma. I'm still happy to share these with you anytime you want a snack. That's cool, Oliver. I wonder how many other things we just need to open up to try in a different way. I'm really glad your mom didn't give up on you. I know, I can hardly believe I like them this much. Hey, wait a minute. Hey, isn't it about time for Beach Club to start? Yeah, I wonder what we're learning about this week. Come on, let's go. my favorite restaurant? The Hometown Buffet, right? You like the bread pudding they serve there. That's right. Why would I ever doubt your memory? I don't know. Anyway, Terry, the six kids, and I all went there to celebrate the kids making A and B honor roll. Well, Aaron loves the cranberry sauce. Like the kind that comes in a can and you slice it, like cranberry jelly? Exactly. Anyway, we all got back to our seats with our first helping. Aaron prayed the most beautiful prayer of blessing and thankfulness over the food. He thanked God that the hometown still had his favorite cranberry sauce on the buffet. <laughs> I looked over at Terry and I was like, did you see any cranberry sauce? She didn't see it either. The next thing you know, my son was choking. Oh my goodness, what happened? Is he okay? <laughs> Apparently, the hometown buffet never had cranberry sauce. Aaron had taken a big helping of beets <laughs> Imagine taking a big bite of what you thought was your favorite thing only to have that disgusting taste of beets in your mouth. <laughs> oh, poor Aaron. And he even showed such, such thankfulness for it, too. I know. I told him, boy, next time you better be thankful that you can read. The labels are up there for a reason. <laughs> oh, man, I wish I could have <laughs> seen all of that go down. <laughs> it was definitely a priceless memory. It goes to show things aren't always the way they appear. Hey guys, <laughs> welcome, we're ready to get started. Hey, what's going on? Great, have pretty good. Well, let's get at it. This week's character word is thankfulness. What does it mean to show thankfulness? Being grateful. I think it's more than that. I think it's being grateful, but taking the time to say it. Exactly, Amy. Yes, in our American culture, instant gratification is what we've come to expect. And along with that, somehow we've forgotten what it is to be thankful. You know what I mean? All I know is my mom is telling me all the time, when I was your age, we didn't have computer games or online shopping. We had to go uphill, barefoot, <laughs> in the snow both ways. Amy, I think your mom went to school with my parents because they tell me the exact same thing. Seriously though, our culture teaches us if we have to wait for anything, it's a problem. We have minute rice, we have instant coffee, we order our groceries online, we can even order dinner and have it delivered to us. And here's the one that gets me. If I order something online, I can have it delivered to me the same day. The culture we live in is one of convenience, but it also teaches us not to be grateful for things. That's right, Jason. People today feel entitled and want more, 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 bigger and better. But as Christians, our lives should be marked by God. 
recognizing that without him, we can accomplish absolutely nothing. That's the real reason why we should be thankful. When you were little, do you remember the first thing that your mom taught you to do? How to be potty trained? <laughs> okay, beyond hygiene issues, what else did your mom teach you when you were really, really little? I remember learning a song about please and thank you, the magic words. Exactly, but as we get older, sometimes the challenge is to continue to learn the heart of thankfulness inside. What are some things that you can be thankful for? Well, I'm thankful that my mom didn't give up on me. If she had, I wouldn't have discovered that I like frozen grapes. Frozen grapes? I don't think I've ever tried frozen grapes before. They are amazing. I don't even like regular grapes, but if you freeze some, they taste completely different. Oliver, I'm going to have to take your word for that. What do you mean, Jason? Big old Jason's afraid of a little frozen grape. <laughs> okay, you got me. I promise I'll try one as soon as possible. Well, today's a lucky day, Jason, because I have some that are still frozen. Ooh. You do? Come on, Jason. You know what I always say, never judge a book by its cover. And things aren't always what they seem. And you need to be thankful for everything. And... Okay, okay, Oliver, hit me up. Here you go, uh, but don't eat them all. I promise you, that would not be a problem, my man. Mm. Yeah. Well? Not bad, Oliver. That was refreshing. I think so, too. Can I have another one? You betcha. But did I hear any magic words? <laughs> See, kids, just like I was saying earlier, we forget to use our manners. Please, Oliver, and thank you. I love how God orchestrates all the little details, including Oliver's frozen grapes, to help us learn the character word each week. I'm so thankful for how all of you participate in Beach Club. You add so much to our time each week. I agree, Jordan. Wow, it's already time for worship. But before we do that, one more thing. How do you think we show God our thankfulness? By telling Him. By praising Him. That's right, all of the above. Hi, everyone. Welcome back. Miss Jennifer here, so you know what time it is. That's right. It's time for our memory link. Do you have your Bible? I have mine. Today's verse comes from the book of Matthew. Matthew is part of a section of the New Testament called the Gospels. Remember, there are four Gospel books that all contain stories about Jesus and His mission to restore our relationship with God. Today's memory link is found in Matthew chapter 28, verse 20. We are going to memorize the second half of the verse, so we call that Matthew 28, 20b. You can find this verse on page 1069 in your Kids Beach Club Study Bible. This is the very last verse in the book of Matthew. It is called the Great Commission and are the words Jesus spoke to his disciples, his friends, and his helpers before he went up to heaven. These instructions were given to the disciples so they would know what to do after Jesus left them. Along with the instructions, he left them a great promise. Let's look at it together and find what Jesus said. Matthew 28, 20b. I am with you always, even to the end of the age. Matthew 28, 20b. Remember, our character word this week is thankfulness. Jesus left his disciples with a promise that he would be with them until the end of the age. Just like the disciples were thankful that Jesus would be with them forever, we have that very same promise too. Let's say it together one more time, and then we'll take it back to Jason Jordan and the Clubhouse Kids to really memorize this verse. Matthew 28, 20b. I am with you always, even to the end of the age. Matthew 28, 20b. All right, it's time for our game for the memory link verse today. Ha <laughs> ha, this is a fun one. It's called Change Your Position. In our little rusty bucket we have here, we have some cards, and each one has a position that we have to get in in order to say the verse. Before we get started, let's go ahead and say the verse together again. Ready? Matthew 28, 20 B. I am with you always, even to the end of the age. Matthew 28, 20 B. All right, let's get started. The first card, please. It is 
swinging arms back and forth. Oh, swing your arms back and forth like the floss, I guess, huh? Yeah, Let's do it. Right. All right, <laughs> ready? Go. Matthew 28, 20 B. I am with you always, even to the end of the age. Matthew 28, 20 B. That was, that was hard. Oh my Don't gosh, forget, yes. The real goal is not to do the move perfectly, but to say the Bible verse so we can remember. All right, let's go. Next one is standing on your toes. Oh, all right, here we go. Ready? Get it. Matthew 28, 20 B. I am with you always, even to the end of the age. Matthew 28, 20 B. <laughs> Oh, that's good. All right, last one. Here we go. Let's make it good. Last one is ninja pose. What up? Let's go. Ready? <laughs> Get your ninja pose. Ready? Jason, let's go. <laughs> mask on, mask off. All right, <laughs> ready? Jason, go. They're not going to make it. Oh, no. <laughs> they should be able to get it. Ready? Go. Matthew 28, 20 B. I am with, with you always. always. Even to the end of the age. Matthew 28, 20 B. Good job, Jason. Oh, hi kids. You caught me reading a really good book here. It's about a friendly little locomotive. Oh, by the way, do you know what you call a train that is very grateful? No? Well, I, I think you call it Thomas the Thanks Engine. You want more? Sure you do. What would a cow say after you fed him grass? He'd say, gracias, of course. Well, you may have guessed by now that Pastor Mark is going to talk about our character word for this week, thankfulness. How often do you say the words, thank you? Do you make it a regular practice in your life? When someone lets you go first in line or holds the door open for you? When a friend gives you part of a cupcake or all of their grapes? Are you thankful for all the good things that people do for you? Well, in our Bible story today, we are reminded of God's promises to us and how thankful we should be to Him. Now, turn with me in your Bible to the Gospel of Luke, chapter 24, verses 36 through 53. You can find this in your kids' Beach Club Bible on page 1146. Now, I bet you remember the story of how Jesus died on the cross and was buried. But he didn't stay dead, did he? On the third day, the tomb was empty. What happened? Where did his body go? Two travelers on a road met the risen Jesus, but they didn't know who he was at first. Later, they were sharing a meal, and when Jesus broke the bread, he vanished. That's when the two travelers knew who they were eating with. They found the disciples, and as they were telling them what had happened, Jesus appeared right in the middle of them and said, Peace be with you. Can you imagine that? They about jumped out of their skin, thinking they were seeing a ghost. But Jesus proved that it was really him by showing his scarred hands and feet and eating a piece of fish with them. Then he opened the disciples' minds by explaining how the Old Testament prophets predicted everything that would happen to him. Just like Jason's story about beats, things aren't always as they seem. At first, it must have seemed impossible to the disciples that their Lord and Savior was really alive. But they were to learn that with God, all things are possible. They finally understood and their eyes were opened just like that. They knew that Jesus had died to pay for sins and was really raised from the dead. After that, Jesus instructed his disciples to preach the good news to everyone. 
Then he promised to send a helper and comforter to them, the Holy Spirit. Finally, the disciples witnessed Jesus ascending or going up into heaven where he is to this day. The Bible tells us that they praised and thanked God for all the amazing things they saw. Aren't you thankful to God for all that he does for us? I know I am. He kept his promise to send a Savior who gave his life for you and for me. If you'd like to show how thankful you are to God, you can make Jesus your forever friend today. Just admit to God that you have done wrong against him and ask him for his forgiveness. Then believe that Jesus died for your sin and rose from the dead. Finally, tell Jesus that you are thankful that he is your one true ruler and follow him every day. That will make God very happy. You know what makes me happy? Knowing that God cares for us so very much. I'm thankful for you because you are very special. Can you name someone or something for which you are thankful? Always remember this, kids. God loves you, and so does Pastor Mark. What are you doing, Amy? I'm just making a list of all the things and people that I'm thankful for. That's a good idea. I should do that too. I think we should all do that. But at the top of my list would be you guys. You know, when I first joined Kids Beach Club, I didn't really have any friends at all. Even though I can't come here every week because I changed between living with my mom and my dad, you guys have made me feel like we've been best friends my whole life. And that means a lot to me. Oliver, we may not have been best friends for your whole life, but you can sure count on us staying best friends for the rest of your life. For sure, Oliver, especially when you have extra grapes to share, frozen or not. Hey guys, let's see if we can list out what we're thankful for, starting with A all the way down to Z. Let's see what we can come up with. I'll go first. A, all of you. B, the Bible. C, church. D, dinner time. And dancing. E, every day. F, I can think of a whole bunch. Friends, family, food, faith. G. God and his goodness to us. H, happiness. I, intelligence. J, joy. K, Kids Beach Club. L, laughter. M, make it stick. Make, make it, it stick. stick. Come on, let's go. That's right, boys and girls. It's time for... Make it stick. And now, here's our host, Steve Harley. Welcome, Steve. Okay, today's Make the Stick game is called Tic Tac Thankfulness. Here's how it works. Over here, we have the red team, and you will be the X's. Here we have the blue team, and in the shape of a grape, you will be the O's. <laughs> All right, X's, you will go first. If you answer the question correctly, you get to place a X on the tic-tac-toe thankfulness board. And then blue team, you will go next. If you answer it correctly, you get to place your O or grape on the tic-tac-toe board. Does everyone get it? Yeah! All right, let's get started. Now, the winner will receive the satisfaction of beating the other team. <laughs> All right, here we go. Question number one. What is today's character word thankfulness thankfulness thank you that is correct where would you like to place your x in the, in the center, center of the board in the center of the board all right your first question is what does thankfulness mean being grateful and saying so. Yes, I'm so grateful that you got that answer correctly. Where would you like your own? Center right. Center right. All right. I see those reading eyes and strategizing. So your question is, who was thankful in today's story? Jesus. Yes, Jesus loves me. Where would you like to place your ex? 
Top left. Top left. Wow. Here we go. Right now, look at this board. Very interesting here. All right. We have two X's. Top left in the middle. What did the disciples think they saw? A ghost. Oh, a ghost. Yes, that is correct. Where would you like to place your grape? All right, bottom right. Bottom right with the block. Oh, my goodness, it's getting tense in here. How did the disciples feel when they realized Jesus was alive? Joy joyful. Oh, joyful, yes. Oh, joy. Yes, where would you like to place your ex? No, top oh. right. Oh. They win if we go top right. And one. give it to top, me. Top right. Top right. Here we go. What did Jesus do to prove to the disciples that he was truly Jesus? He showed them his scars and hands and feet. He showed them his hands, scars, and feet. Yes, that is correct. What would you like your O? Top center. Top center. The O for the block. <laughs> All right. Where did Jesus go when he ascended? To heaven, heaven with God. God. Yes, he did. <laughs> oh, the X, where would you like it? Bottom left. Bottom left. That means we have a winner. Great job, everybody. Red team wins. Do it. See you next time on May It Stay. Jordan, be honest. Did you go home and freeze some grapes? Of course I did. <laughs> I cannot get over how good they are. And how did I go my entire life without realizing that they were so good? Seriously though, man, I can't believe it. These kids are always teaching me something, but I never dreamed that they'd be teaching me about food. <laughs> <laughs> hey, come on in guys. Hey. By the looks of your faces, it looks like you have all had a great time in Beach Club once again. <laughs> For sure. <laughs> you know what's crazy? What? It's crazy how much we take for granted in life. What do you mean? I think he means that, you know, we have it really good and not everyone does. Before our Make It Stick game, we were talking about our character word of thankfulness and just really taking the time to appreciate the good things in our lives. And not just the good things. Sometimes we forget to appreciate things like food that we take for granted. And Jason and Jordan, I just want to tell you guys how much you mean to me. These last few weeks in Beach Club have really made an impact on my life. Oliver, that is so great. I have loved getting to know you. You know, with my parents being divorced and all, I just never really got to know how much God loves me. Hmm, that's right, Oliver. He loves you so much that he gave his life for each one of us so that we can make him our forever friend. Well, today I decided that is exactly what I want to do. Can you help me with that? I don't exactly know how to do that, but I really want to make Jesus my forever friend. Absolutely. Come on over here so we can talk, man. I'm so excited for Oliver. I've pretty much grown up in church. Making Jesus my forever friend last year in Beach Club changed my life. Me too, Emma. I know, it was the best decision ever. And every week that I come, God challenges me to learn something new or look at something differently. And that's the beauty of God's Word. Just like the disciples in our Bible Connection time didn't understand everything at first, God revealed the truth to them and helps them understand. I am so thankful you all love Beach Club so much. Jason and I both love volunteering with you. Hey, you know what the Bible says? When we make Jesus our forever friend, we should not be ashamed of him. So we should tell others about him. Oliver, do you have anything you want to say? I just want to tell you all again how thankful I am for you. But today, I'm most thankful for Jesus and making him my forever friend. Yeah. Oliver, that is awesome. And you know what the best part is? It's God's promise to us in our memory verse this week. God promises in Matthew 28, 20b, I'm with you always, even to the end of the age and we can always count on God to keep his promises. Man, time is always flying. But hey, before we go, 
Let's remember the Hang 10 Challenge. Spend 10 minutes with God every day in prayer and reading your Bible. And Oliver, this should take on a whole new meaning for you, man. And I also want to challenge you to tell everyone you can about the decision to make Jesus your forever friend. Man, I am just so excited right now. I could burst. <laughs> Yo, I think we all feel the same way. Let's bring it in. Ready? Stay for this on three. One, two, three. Thankfulness! Thankfulness.